Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. That is surreal to me. The criticism of Jake Paul not fighting a real boxer is valid to a certain degree. I feel like each time he's had an opponent, he's upped the levels. And for his sixth fight, he was going to fight Tommy Fury. He backed out. Hasim Rockman Jr. was his replacement. That fight fell through, and now Hasim is fighting Vitor Belfort, which is an interesting matchup on the zone. And now Jake Paul is now trying to fight Anderson Silva for October. Anderson Silva, while he is primarily a MMA fighter, one of the best MMA fighters of all time, he's a striker first and foremost, and he has some of the best hands in mixed martial arts history. This guy made people look stupid back in the day. Forrest Griffin versus Anderson Silva, I mean, that was an incredible display of striking. Anderson Silva, even though he's 47, he can still fight. He recently boxed Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., he won a split decision, and he also knocked out Tito Ortiz, who was a former UFC fighter with a wrestling base. I mean, Tito Ortiz, he's not a boxer at all. I mean, fucking hell, Dana White wanted to box Tito Ortiz back in the day. So that doesn't mean much, but his victory over Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is a pretty massive deal. So, how does this fight play out between Jake Paul and Anderson Silva? I think Jake Paul gets the stoppage, but if it goes all the way to decision, Anderson Silva has it. I feel like Anderson Silva's probably a better boxer than Jake, but Jake Paul has that power in his right hand, and if he cracks Anderson with the right hand, at the right time, with the right placement, he could knock Anderson Silva out. I don't think that's an unrealistic scenario. If it goes to points, I feel like Anderson Silva will have enough rounds in the bank in order to get the victory. That's my small prediction out of the way, but I want to credit Jake Paul for taking this fight. Yes, Anderson is not a traditional pro boxer, but he's had boxing fights. He has boxing experience dating all the way back into the 90s. And also, Anderson Silva is one of the most decorated MMA fighters in the game. So I respect Jake Paul for taking this fight. Again, it could go either way. This is such an interesting matchup, and I don't think Anderson Silva's age is going to play that big of a part, to be honest. Yes, he's quite old, but again, look at how he fucked up Chavez Jr. and Tito Ortiz. That was very recent. That was last year. This is a good matchup, though, and I feel like this is a perfect cap to the Jake Paul MMA feud that has been going on for a couple of years now. I think however this ends, this will be a good conclusion to this little saga that we have going on in YouTube boxing, as lame as that sounds. If Jake Paul is successful, then he can go fight Hasim Ruckman Jr. And if Jake Paul loses, then he's more down to the YouTube level, where he can fight KSI. Even if Jake Paul wins, I feel like that fight is still on the table, but if Jake Paul loses, I feel like it's even more realistic as a possibility. What do you think about Anderson Silva versus Jake Paul? Let me know. See you guys next time. Bye.